Hello, hello everyone. This is uh, Satish Kumar from Mindful Solutions. Uh, we are going to start our second video on uh, one second. Sorry, we are going to start our second video on uh, the folder structure of Symphony 2 and uh, how to have a simple hello world program. Uh, to start on with, um, let me just you know have a quick walkthrough of the directory structure of Symphony 2. This symphony is our project we uh, created during our installation video. And if you see this directory structure app is a uh, folder where you will have all your configuration parameters and uh, the overriding of third party views and themes will be residing over there and uh, bin is the binary area where you will have the binary files something like a doctrine binary profile binary which will be a symbolic link area uh, what that will be consumed by your symphonic projects <coughs> Vendor is the area where you have all your third party bundles, libraries and packages whereas web is the folder where you will have your front controllers like app and app dev.php um, to quickly show you that so here you can see app app dev.php and a folder called bundles which will uh, hold all your uh, assets of every bundle that you are going to use in the uh, symphony package and uh, a symphony application is nothing but a collection of bundles each and every bundle is nothing but an independent um, you a chunk of code where you can have some uh, set of independent modular actions and that one uh, module will have the test directory uh, themes views um, uh, your controller actions models uh, everything of that particular bundle and uh, you can see say a bundle as an independent uh, chunk of code which can be reused at any point of time and now to move on with the src folder src folder is the main folder where you will have all your bundles deciding and the uh, src folder has some set of uh, directory structures like uh, controller entity form test command independence injection event listeners resources and tweak acme demo bundle.php is, is the base file of for any bundle and that can be used to show the relation between any other bundle and you know to override certain other options as well which will be covering up at a later point of time and controller is the area where you can have all your controller actions and entity is the here you can see there are three controllers uh, whereas entity is area where you have all your model files and its corresponding repository classes command is the folder where you can see all your cron files for that particular module and dependency injection is the most trickiest the complex and the logical part of any bundle where you can have all your uh, dependencies being injected uh, you can have your own configuration where the configurational tree builders and you can have some compiler passes for your own bundle and you can also have a preventer interfaces being you know extended out there uh, which is quite complex we'll be covering up in detail in the forthcoming videos event listeners again you know a bit of complex area where you can play with events that a symphony you know listeners will be um, you know pro uh, moving on with and you have resources folders which will have uh, the physical files like CSS uh, resources has mainly three folders I can quickly uh, show you how it will look like and there are three folders config public and view the config folder is is the area where you can have all your configuration parameters which can be uh, injected as a dependency injection into the bundles uh, dependency injection folder area via extensions um, and the public folder holds all your javascript css and images whereas views is nothing but the area where you have all your uh, views and when i say views here in symphony the uh, most popular uh, uh, templating engine is twig and you know that is being widely used for any symphony application and the uh, naming of sorry 
and the naming of the views you know goes in such a way that uh, for any kind the first directory will hold the controller name and the secondary and the uh, second particular theme will hold the name of the theme action uh, say for example i have a layout.html.twig which is the very common uh, theme for the bundle whereas for if you say demo controller for the demo controller you can have a folder called demo inside that for each and every action you can have a dedicated uh, theme for that say for example inside demo controller for the index section we have index.html.v so i think that covers up most of the uh, you know directory structured area and uh, one major thing that i forgot to tell you is the forms this is the area where you will have all your form types um, as of now we have just contact type uh, but we'll be covering more in depth about co you know form types and its handlers its dependence injection its uh, transformers a model transformer view transformer and so on the custom uh, form type how a field can be used as a form type how you can overwrite themes uh, we'll be covering up in detail in forthcoming videos so I think we have spoken much about the directory structure. Let's quickly move on to uh, how we can have a controller action, hello world program. Um, so, for any particular uh, code, the main uh, starting point is nothing but the routing area. So, here, as I said, in the resources area, you have config and routing.yml. Here, I have uh, the a home page where the pattern slash which denotes there is no other pattern and it acts as the home page uh, it defaults to a controller called acme demo bundle welcome index so this is the area inside acme demo bundle for the na namespace acme demo bundle controller and you have a controller action called welcome controller and the index action is index so it just uh, you know renders a uh, tweak theme uh, it just returns the object of the tweak theme to show how hello world program uh, comes up before that we can quickly see how this so we have this test symphony app data of php which is nothing but our home page and from here we have to move on to hello world dot uh, hello world program so in order to have that will be having a new routing yml routing uh, parameter uh, where you will have uh, welcome hello you can name anything you can even name uh, hello world and uh, the pattern is the pattern which you are going to see it in the url parameter um, as a query param suppose you have your domain as um, say www.google.com and whatever that comes next to that is nothing but your query parameters so the pattern that will follow is hello followed by some slug and this slug is nothing but uh, you know the argument that will be passing to the controller action and i can uh, have any default here as well so it defaults to world if you don't give any parameter but if you give any other slug it will show it over there and the default controller is acme demo bundle welcome controller hello action so if you come here that's a, a welcome controller hello action it renders acme demo bundle welcome hello.html.twig so this is the area like where it shows in the resources folder views folder uh, inside resources inside views you have hello.html.twig and it um, extends from acme demo bundle layout.html twig which is going to be the uh, base html tweak for the entire bundle and you collect the name from the variable that comes from here and then show it on the twig theme let's quickly see how it works so as i said hello is nothing the pattern if you don't give anything it takes you to the hello world if you give any other slug it says hello rob so quite simple to start on its simple isn't it thanks for watching this video we'll covering up we'll be covering up more on forms in the uh, further videos thanks a lot